2030 will only be the starting point for many of our future healthcare workers. Some of that workforce will be trained, we hope, in Dublin. And I would like to welcome Dean Professor Mary McMurrin from Trinity College Dublin, where many of our healthcare workers are trained and a co-organizer of the forum, of course. You're very welcome to Dr. <laughs> Professor Mary McMurrin. Thank you very much. <clears throat> On behalf of the Provost and my colleagues at Trinity College and other co-hosts organising this important event, I would like to extend a warm welcome to Dublin and to the Fourth Forum. We are proud to be working with the two Irish government departments, the Health Service Executive, voluntary organisations, the Global Health Workforce Network and the World Health Organisation to bring the key stakeholders together in Dublin. So, Kate Mila Falsha to everyone. Taking the mantle as the lead organiser of the forum and supporting the aims of the meeting fits well with Trinity College's roles in research, education and supporting policy development. The college aims to provide excellent education across medicine, nursing and the allied health professionals, helping to meet the needs of four professionals in Ireland and across the world, and to move towards more equitable and sustainable policies. Trinity graduates have left lasting legacies in improving global health, such as the work of Dennis Burkett on lymphoma in Africa, and the contributions of William Campbell and parasite infections, as well as the Jonathan Swift's early support for better mental health. And more recently, there has been a strong research focus on strengthening health systems, understanding better health contributions of new health care professionals, and improving retention and motivation of health professionals. The aim has always been to work co closely with policymakers and healthcare systems to ensure the research has impact. Making progress in implementing the global strategy on human resources for health requires the commitment of all key stakeholders, those who generate knowledge, those who provide training, those who manage services and those who make and implement policy and the international organisations that provide leadership, coordination and support. There remains challenges which we must grapple with. Some key questions are about how best do we develop and support the local workforces in developing countries and ensure that our education of their emerging professionals is not simply to create a pool of workers from which first world countries simply recruit. We must also address the changing nature of health needs and health care. How must both our health care approaches and our health workforce training change so that we reinvent an acute care focused healthcare approach to better serve the reality of patients more likely now to present with chronic health conditions. This forum is above all about supporting moves to accelerate the implementation of the strategy. We are proud to be part of this effort and we are committed to play our part in the drive to create a sustainable skill workforce to support universal access to high quality health services across the world. Many thanks.